goodness. It's knocking things over. Hi friends, it's Karis. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today we have another really big Timu haul. And if you don't know what Timu is already, it is an online marketplace that offers a ton of different items in multiple categories at extremely low prices. They really do have something for everyone, whether you're looking for crafts, home decor, organizers, clothes, or jewelry, or etc. They will definitely have something for you. And they also also often have amazing coupons and site-wide sales that regularly offer up to 90% off. I did also want to point out that you get free shipping and free returns within 90 days. Now Timu did reach out to me to partner with me on this video so of course I jumped at the opportunity since I've had nothing but positive experiences with them so far and I do want to let you know that everything that you see in this video will have links in the description box below so that if you see something that you like you can go ahead and order it directly from there. Now, <laughs> excuse my room. It is still a work in progress. We just moved into our new house and now I'm currently sitting in my new craft room. However, there are still things that need to be done and there are still items and boxes that need to be unboxed. So there's still tons of things to do and I will have a video on my craft room organization here soon. But that brings me to the point of what I got from Timu. I actually ended up buying quite a few things that was going to help me try tremendously when it comes to organizing my craft room. As you guys might know, especially from a few previous videos, I have so many things and so many little things that need to be organized. So this stuff that I got from Timu is going to solve my problem. Most of these items are going to help me with my organization. And then there are a few miscellaneous items in there that I could really use that are gonna help me with my business, which you will come to see later on that I will explain. So let's get right into it. Ugh, okay, here's box number one. Oh, can I open it from here? No. You can't open it from there. All right, scissors it is. So we have one item here that we'll go over, and then we have two other small boxes inside the package. one that we unwrapped is this item here and I know you're thinking you're like what does this have to do with organization or crafting well I've always wanted one of these cups first of all secondly I do not have a water bottle as you may have seen in my previous videos I always have my tea cup but sometimes especially around this expensive PC it would be good and nice to have a water bottle to help me stay hydrated while also not making any kind of mess this came at a really really good price I've seen everybody everywhere with these so I always wanted to try one. I love that it has this little plastic reusable straw and also it's purple you guys so buying this was a must. This cup is so awesome it's made of a really durable easy to clean material with insulated walls. It is a 40 ounce capacity cup with a car handle that makes it so easy to fit in your car and the ice master technology that it uses ensures that your drink will stay cold for hours on end. It's exactly like the ones that I saw people selling at craft fairs for like $40. This mug I got for like $10 on the Timu website. Again, if you like it, you can find the link in the description box below to get your own. And Timu also gave me a very special code just for you guys so that you can get $100 in coupons for free when you download the Timu app from your phone. So be sure to use this code below to claim those coupons. I will also leave the code in the description box below and in the pinned comments as well. The other item that we got is this awesome desk organizer. This is what it looks like. I should have known that was gonna happen. This is what it looks like from the top. This multi-grid organizer is very compact and it comes with these adorable little drawers that slide out easily. It is a great way to tidy around all of your small little objects that might be running around your desk like I have. <laughs> And I do plan on putting so many things in here to help me organize my mess of a desk. Lastly, from that first package, we have these stickers. And these stickers just say 
handmade with love on them. I know it's backwards, so sorry. These stickers are made with a premium craft paper, which makes them durable and eco-friendly. It is such a cute addition to add to sealing your envelopes, your packages. And I'm just so excited to add these to my packages. I think they're just gonna make such a wonderful addition to them. Next package. <gasps> okay, this one is pretty big again. I can hear some things moving around in there. <laughs> so I honestly don't remember what's in this box. I should not be struggling this much with this package. Get yourself together, girl. Come on. Ugh. Why can't I get this out? <laughs> There we go, oh my goodness. Now, I got it out, that's what it looks like. I think I remember what this is. This is the multi-tier removable table side bookshelf storage rack thingy. I'll put a picture over here so you know what I'm talking about. It was $22.47. And I'm very excited about this because this looks like there's so much room and it's going to help me organize my craft room so much better. So these were in there. We'll figure out what those do later. Okay. We've got more things that I'll do with later. And another one. And more of them. Little wheels. And a little piece of paper. So these are our instructions. We get one sheet of paper with five steps. And then there's this bottom piece. Well, maybe this is the top piece. We'll know once I read the instructions. <laughs> That's a joke. Who reads the instructions? I'm just kidding, I read the instructions. All right, bear with me for this mess back here. Again, moving, still trying to unpack. And my room is really, really tiny, so there's really not a lot of space to work with to begin with. But now I'm going to attempt to build this. Okay, it says install both long side panels, which are these, on both sides of the bottom frame, which is this. Easy enough. Step one is complete. Okay, step two. These are the long baskets and these are the short side panels. And it says upwards, so I think this means upwards, like to have these parts facing upwards. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that on. So then we just keep adding these baskets to here with these until we run out of baskets. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And lastly, we add the top piece. All right, so there we have our tower. Now I just need to add the wheels on the bottom. Two of them have these little brake pieces. So I put one on this side, I'm gonna put one on this side. And this is the front of the cart. So if I need to stop it from rolling, I just push down on the tab to keep it from rolling. So here is our completed cart. This looks so cool. And it is definitely for books and papers for sure because there's not a lot of space in between these baskets to get anything else in there except for maybe the top and the bottom. This table side bookshelf is extremely compact and super easy to put together. It is a very unique and aesthetically pleasing way to store your books and or loose papers as opposed to using a filing cabinet or something else of the sort and it is a great way to just put that stuff away without having it lying around like I do. And the top features a wonderful area to place cups so that they do not fall out and some other things in the middle. All in all, I am very pleased with this little organizer, especially for only being $22. Here is our next one. So here we have our next 
package. It's meant to be an under the kitchen organizer for bottles and stuff, but I think this is really, really gonna help because I have a lot of things that are just like, I have acetone, isopropyl alcohol, Mod Podge, UV resin, just a whole bunch of bottles and just other things that are weirdly shaped that this is definitely going to help with. This came in a package of two under the sink organizers. So there's not just one, but there's two of them in here and it was $16 and 59 cents. Again, the links to all of these products can be found in the description box below. And don't forget that you can use the special code that I have at the bottom of the screen so that you can get $100 in coupons for free. So be sure to use that code. Okay. So the instructions are on the box on how to put this together and it comes wrapped in this felt like material. Looks like they also include the instructions inside the package as well. There's some metal pipes, some clips. So this looks relatively simple. Basically, all you have to do is just put these little metal wires, each of the four corners and attach them to the other one. nice that's a good amount of space right there let's take our little plastic edgers and you just clip them to the side here like that and they're just meant to hold whatever you know could hang there there's our other little under the sink organizers. This is definitely gonna be very helpful so here they are together you can see that there's a bigger one and a smaller one is really hard to show. <laughs> they fit inside each other really nicely too. Look at that. <laughs> Happy accident. <laughs> Last package. I definitely forgot I got this, but I'm super excited about it. This is the Centro knitting machine, and I have seen these everywhere. Everybody is using them. You can get them off of Amazon, but I get this one off of Timu for $42. So this one had excellent reviews, just like the Amazon one did, and I am so super excited to try this out, you guys. I really, really, really want to make some hats because apparently it doesn't take very long at all to make hats. Oh, you can make pumpkins with this. What? You guys, you make pumpkins with them. I've never seen anybody make pumpkins with a knitting machine before. Okay, disclaimer, I have never knitted before in my entire life. I've never picked up any knitting needles. The only thing I've ever done is crochet. So, I know this machine is probably gonna be pretty easy to use. I've seen quite a few tutorials on using it. I don't think it's gonna be super complicated. I think it's definitely gonna be much easier than actually knitting, but I'm super excited to try it. And I know that this is definitely not a craft organizing item, <laughs> but it is going to help me make some more inventory that is going to be really quick and easy workups, especially for the winter months if I need to fill in some inventory for a craft show. Also, it is definitely going to be so much fun to use, first of all. And secondly, I did buy a few crafting items from this haul that would help me in my crafting endeavors. And I really, really, really wanted to try this knitting machine after seeing it on so many different channels and so many different people use it. And I wanna make a hat, you guys. <laughs> I've crocheted a hat and that takes forever. So let's go try it out. We have switched locations now. I am currently in the living room so that I actually have a area to unbox this, set it up and do all that other stuff. But I got my hair up to get to work. So let's unbox our knitting machine. Oh my goodness, get it out of the box. Oh my goodness. Tell you, I have never had so much trouble getting things out of boxes before. I don't know if it's just me or if this stuff just does not want to be unboxed. So we got our items here that does have this instruction sheet, it looks like, with some QR codes on videos that will help you start if you don't know how to start. There is so many instructions on how to do this and I could definitely do an entire video on using this, which I think that I will in the future. I will have an entire video dedicated to using this and making some awesome projects with it. But for right now, we're going to just figure out how to set it up using the instructions that it came with so that we can see if this is, you know, what was advertised. And then down the line, we'll probably go ahead and use it actually. I'm definitely gonna test it with a few strands, but I don't think we're gonna be making any projects because this is something that's gonna take quite a bit of time for me to figure out. So in our box, we seem to have some 
skeins of yarn that it came with. It looks like it's just regular acrylic yarn that's worsted weight. We've got a pink one, we've got a grayish blue one, and then a different shade of gray blue, which we have more of that one. And then this eggshell white kind of color here. Then we have what looks to be the legs of our knitting machine and the knitting machine. So I just finished the instructions. Not all of it, <laughs> just the part to put it together. So we have these and I'm gonna take these out. And these are the legs to the machine along with these little suction cup things. But I did wanna show you that as I was reading, it showed you everything that it came with. And there's a little tiny screwdriver. Look at how cute this little thing is. It's so small. I'm so excited that they actually gave you one of these. Like that is so cool. I was looking at it, I saw the screwdriver. I was like, dang it, I'm gonna have to go get a screwdriver. But then I looked at the package and there was one in it and I was so happy. <laughs> They also included a 3.75 millimeter plastic hook and two darning needles. One that is about that big and then one that's just like this. All right, time to put it together. So I was not fully able to get the suction cups onto the legs because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be all the way down right here. But I tried and I tried and I cannot get them to go down any further with my weak self. So I'm gonna leave them here and hopefully this will work. Otherwise, if it doesn't work or it just annoys me or it's not even or anything else like that, I'm just gonna take them off and just omit them entirely. But for now, we'll see if this will work if they're just halfway on. But yeah, I could not get them on there. So suction cups don't really like to stick to whatever this material is that this table is made out of, but it does look like it's pretty even. So I'd call that a win. <laughs> Next step is to thread some yarn and take it around a few times and see if it's gonna work. Okay, so I just finished a video. I figured out how to do it. I cast it on properly. So I started with the yarn in the middle. I did every other peg, which I did not do the first time. And now I'm just gonna go around in a few rounds and see if this does what it's supposed to do like I was uh, trying to do the first time. So I have officially done nine rows so far. It looks like this is starting to form exactly what it's supposed to form from what I can tell. It runs really smoothly as you might have noticed in the video. It grabs yarn the way it's supposed to. Everything works the way that it's supposed to. So I definitely give this product an A+. I'm already addicted. I already want to keep going and finish this project. So I might actually do that once I'm done with this video and see how that turns out. <laughs> very excited about this so excited that i can make hats in like no time at all now or scarves or anything else nice and fluffy and warm and cuddly for the winter i'm so happy <laughs> so that is the centro knitting machine that i got and i am very much in love with it so that is everything that i got in this timu haul thank you guys so much for coming along with me i really love it when you guys come along with me and hang out with me while we do these videos don't forget again to use the special code below to get 100 dollars in free coupons if you download the app and be sure to check out any of the items that you saw in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for joining me here and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now!